What is up, guys? It's you here, bringing you another review on Fairy Tale. This episode was split into two. Uh, you can pick which of the two you think was better. Personally, I like the first half more because it really gives us a better view. For those that read the manga or those that were wondering where Zero came from, this first half, I think, really helps put a lot of clarity into it. Uh, quick reminder for those that have not remembered, END is actually Natsu, uh, Etheris, Natsu, Dragneo, that's what it stands for. Uh, we see a young boy named Zeroth who wanted to practice magic that was probably way ahead of his time, of course, and uh, was considered forbidden or taboo uh, by many, where he wanted to bring back the dead. Uh, he was consistently being opposed by, uh, I guess, what was supposed to be like his master or protector. And as time went on, he was still trying to do uh, more and more. And he was starting to make certain breakthroughs. Uh, but one day, when he was angered, his magic killed everyone around him. Both people and animals and plants. I mean, everyone was dying and so he decided that instead of caring so much about life to not care at all and he was able to suppress it uh, his goal was to bring back his younger brother uh, but in time he was able to kind of continue his experimentations and even creating a lot of the monsters that were supposed to kill him but couldn't uh, of course those being if you guys remember Tartaros, they were a creation of his and they could not defeat him. And he did end up making a younger Natsu. And interestingly enough, he now is in not sort of in league. Because we go back in time, I go back to the present, and basically goes out and searches for uh, Acnologia doesn't know if he wants to defeat him or wants to join with him but he does say that there will be a battle between the immortal the dragon and the humans and he just wants to die this is what he says and he wants to die so this is kind of i think a very important step to what we're about to get so i do like how it ends there with him looking that face at you know evil basically uh, but then we transition into what everyone else is doing uh, their intention to go back to Magnolia to Fiore and getting everyone back together we see that uh, everyone has certain things to attend to for example we had uh, Levi and Gajil having to go back to the council and talking uh, to them about what had happened Gray and Juvia I also are heading over there. We had Urza having to report back to Jalal, which I would have loved to have seen. Uh, but, of course, we don't get. But the first people that go back were uh, Lucy, Natsu, and Wendy. And they are arriving. But while they're heading over there, all Lucy can think about is that day where Makarov decided that everyone were to live their own lives that fairy tale was no longer existing and she can't shake off the feeling that everyone may have already forgotten or moved on with their lives and the first person to kind of show up was kana who i'm personally a fan of her she talks about how everyone still remembers and you know how is it that you know they could have forgotten it's only been a year and they kind of rush over and getting into where the remains of fairy tale were and we we also got a glimpse of what it used to be like the several different fairy tale headquarters that they had uh, and it brought back a little bit of nostalgia for me to see them. i was like man it's been a few years since i've seen these so i did enjoy that but then we see everyone else already standing there or at least the member that matter <laughs> So everyone is there and greeting them and we see how everyone has missed each other and it, things have just pretty much felt like it's a new beginning. It's a new beginning for Fairy Tale. Natsu raises the flag 
and everyone's hunky dory. So now they're gonna have to rebuild. But overall, I did enjoy it. A new beginning, a new battle is about to happen. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, guys, stay safe, and I will catch you later. I'm a buff baby, but I dance like a man. She a nice lady, and she shaking the yams. Spent the whole summer trapping out the sedan. Marching with the bands, cause I think that I care.